Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike. Today we're gonna go over the side-to-side -side pull up So this is a weird variation um, where I'm basically, it kind of looks like if you've ever seen the playground jacked dudes who just work out on the playground for no money at all, um, it's kind of like one of those variations. That's how I picture it. It's like you're dancing on the pole a little bit. That's already a term. Um, it's like you're dancing during your pull up. Okay, let's let's move past that. So as I pull up, I come over to the side and you see how I have more gap over here in between my forearm and my upper arm and then less gap over here on the side that I'm pulling up to. Then at the top, I shift over to the other side, turning my entire upper body. And then I stay over on that side as I lower back down. And then I just come up and go the other way and learn to turn the other way, just like this, okay? It's pretty simple. Um, it's just a nice variation to try if you're, um, if you're getting kind of bored with the strict normal pull-up um, and or maybe if you don't have a whole lot of weight available to you, it's nice because it overloads that one side that you pull up on um, and then overloads the other side. So you can, you can get more weight out of a single or into a single arm without having to, you know, hook up a weight belt and hang some sort of dumbbell or plate or kettlebell or whatever from your, your waist. Um, other, other weird benefits is like if your upper body is pretty able and you don't have many shoulder issues, and even if you do, kind of, as long as you still have the strength, doing this little rotation thing at the top is really good for your core, right? It's really good for positioning the rib cage, loosening that stuff up, teaching it how to turn and how to contort and to take different shapes um, while still training your upper body pulling mechanics. So that is the side-to-side pull-up.